about a year and a half ago, dropping in on something like this was scary for me. Not even two months ago, dropping in on this was scary to me, which is kind of weird to think about because it's not even that big. Yeah. Now dropping in on this is still a little bit scary to me. Because almost exactly a year ago, this is where I sprained my ankle. And I really haven't been skating in here since. But today, I'm gonna try to attack it. As soon as my friends get here, also I have to put on a helmet because helmets are required. <laughs> My friend Diane and I made a deal. She works on her board slides, which don't scare me that much unless they're down a set of stairs. And I work on my transition skating, which doesn't scare her, but scares me a lot. I tried to practice before enlisting my friend's help and I ended up slicing my ankle right off the bat. about Hannah is that she isn't afraid of trying new things and falling. Only see it up again. Diane, who I'm doing this board slide exchange thing with, is strong in every movement. For me, Think down rails are less scary. Maybe it's just not the fact that I'm going backwards. But even I'd still do a front board before I'd like roll back on transition. I have no idea. Just my ankle, hurting my ankle that one time. 
I have no idea. <laughs> Judy also is recovering from a half pipe fear. She recently got a concussion from a half pipe. <laughs> it's very dropy back there. show for me yeah how's your board sides going <laughs> so good. you're gonna practice your board sides I'm gonna practice this we're just gonna exchange do your best board slide before you go just one just one <gasps> Diane and I have a lot of work to do, along with practicing my tray flips, big spins, and varial heels, which I'd love to get before the end of the year, but I don't know if that's gonna happen.